Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Khadija and today's video is a get ready with me in collaboration with our hair sponsor, which is World New Hair. <laughs> All my items came in this beautiful black and gold silk dust bag. So it included the wig, of course, as well as some wig caps, some hair accessories, such as clips and a hair wig grip, as well as some lashes. So I really love that. So the wig that I got is a 180% density body wave wig and this wig has the hd transparent lace front wig in the length 22 inches so i'm really excited to show you guys this wig right out the bag this was super soft i loved this hair texture it felt really nice and bouncy right out of the packaging the wig construction has four combs with some lace in the back just in case you want to wear it in a ponytail so i like to prep my hair on a wig mannequin just to make it easier on myself i use a lot of hot tools so to prevent me from burning myself i love to style my wigs on a hair mannequin so first i like to take my hot comb and kind of just flatten the wig as you guys know, once you take out a wig out of the packaging, it is not the flattest it can be. So I take my hair comb and I just flatten the wig and I decided to go with a middle part, which is my go-to. So I decided that I was going to wand curl my wig. So that's exactly what I did. I like to take my wand and after a couple of seconds, I hold the wand curl in my hand just so the curl sets before I let it go. So I do that all around my hair. So after I wand curl my hair, I like to use a little bit of got to be freeze spray just to make sure all my curls are set. So after I set my curls, I like to take a comb and just rake through my hair. I don't really like the uniformed curls. I like very loose wave curls. So that's why I comb throughout my hair. So after I combed throughout my hair, I just go over my part with my hot comb again. And I do kind of uniform my baby hairs in the front on the mannequin as well, just so it's super easy when I put this on my head. So I use the Got To Be glue spray to lay down my wig. I think this is good for like everyday use because I usually don't sleep with my wigs on so it's easy to remove with water. So I have this silk scarf that the company provided to just make sure everything is laid and we're gonna start with the makeup. So I already did my eyebrows and my lashes just because it takes me the longest to do. So right now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. poreless putty primer. And just put this wherever I have the most pores. So I use the NYX Born to Glow Concealer and this is in the shade Caramel. I really like this concealer. It's actually pretty hydrating, it's not too drying. You guys probably notice I don't use foundation. I just do concealer and a little bit of contouring. So I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. So 
video, I ran out of my contour concealer. So I've been using a darker foundation. So this is just a MAC foundation that is a couple shades darker than my skin tone. So I'm going to use that to contour. To set my concealer, I use the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. So now I'm going to just dust that powder off. So right now I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer to contour and I have this NARS Kabuki brush. To highlight, I'll be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Okay, so my favorite part, which is the lips, I'll show you guys my favorite lip combo. So the first thing I use is this NYX lip pencil in the shade brown. And then I use the NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline. And then to put on top, I use this Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. This is like my go-to lip combo. And lastly, to set my face, I use the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Okay, so that's the finished makeup look, but for my body, I want an extra glow. So I'm gonna use this Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. Okay, so I'm gonna get changed and then show you guys my outfit and my perfume. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a Zara bodysuit as well as some Zara leggings. I have my Bottega mini Jody bag and I have these Bottega inspired heels that I got from Shein that match perfectly with my bag. So that is my outfit of the day. I love it. So my perfume of the day is my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I really like this scent. I did get the scent for Valentine's Day. This is more of a floral scent with a little bit of musk. So to me, this is a really good everyday perfume. So I only spray two and I'm good to go. But I highly recommend this perfume if you guys are on the market for a Chanel perfume. This one is my favorite. Thank you so much to World New Hair for sponsoring this video. I am obsessed with this wig, you guys. This wig is probably one of the best wigs that I've ever reviewed. So I'm really happy and I will definitely update you guys on this wig the more I wear it. And I'll be sure to leave all the info down in the description bar down below. So make sure you guys check that out. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one.